This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. I'm James Spann. This is for Thursday, the 10th day of May. Weather doesn't get any better than this. Let's look at some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. First off, look at downtown Tuscaloosa. That is Greensboro Avenue. Nice and clear and cool. Crisp. Feels good. Here's a look at downtown Fayette. Things are nice and quiet there. And a look at downtown Gadsden up in northeast Alabama. Check the uh, water vapor satellite shot. Very dry air across the deep south. We've got troughing over the east. The next feature to watch is that disturbance west of El Paso. And that will be drifting in our direction. And that will probably bring a, an increase in the number of showers and thunderstorms over the weekend. Especially on Sunday. Ooh, it feels good this morning. Look at Fort Payne sitting at 45 at 5 o'clock. Upper 40s for Haleyville and Cullman. Our sky watcher Vic Bell up northeast of Gadsden at Black Creek. He's got 43 at 5 o'clock. And you know we're not going to have many more of these cool mornings before that old long, hot summer gets here. Severe weather risk today around the nation. Obviously nothing here. There is the standard slight risk over south Texas of all places. And look at the rain down there and over the western Gulf for the next five days. And remember, this is a drought-stricken area, that part of uh, South Texas, and they will take that all day. Uh, in fact, the numbers are really ramping up here in Alabama. This is valid through Monday evening of next week, and uh, this is suggesting rain amounts of two inches around here and amounts down around Mobile, maybe over four or five inches. As a very wet weather pattern sets up. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. And you can see the two players. We've got the troughing over the east. That's a reason for this nice, cool, dry air. And we've got the uh, feature over West Texas. Down below that, just gorgeous. Bright, sunny weather today. Low humidity. Dew points stay low. Highs will likely be in the upper 70s. The uh, GFS, the name, are anywhere from 76 to 79. Tomorrow, we'll start the day. Uh, upper 40s and low 50s wind up with a high at or just over 80. The rain continues over Texas. And then Saturday, you can see the Texas feature is weaker, but it's just drifting in here from the west. And that will be bringing moisture with it in a surface low just below Lake Charles, Louisiana, in the northwestern Gulf. And again, at this point, uh, you know, we're going to mention a chance of showers on Saturday, but I don't think the rain will be you know, a washout or a widespread kind of thing, and it might be, you know, later in the day before it gets here. But Sunday looks pretty wet. We've got that surface low around New Orleans, and that's a pretty favorable pattern for rain. So Sunday at this point looks cloudy with a good chance of showers and maybe some thunder for Mother's Day. And Monday of next week, nothing really changes. We have a general weakness right over us aloft and a broad surface low, and that looks pretty wet with a good chance of showers and storms. And Really, Tuesday, things don't change. The surface low is over the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Cloudy with a good chance of showers. And uh, Wednesday of next week, the surface low is near Meridian. And again, that would be wet. And, and let me tell you what, this is a really good thing because if we can get some good rain in May, that tends to mitigate some of the summer heat with you know, this deep soil moisture. You, we've talked about this a lot, but I'm just saying rain in May is a good thing. And a week from today, we've still got the weakness over us aloft and down below that. The surface low is almost right over Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. So uh, Sunday through at least the first half of next week is looking pretty wet at this point. All right, let's go out there uh, five more days. Ooh, May 22nd. It's the GFS bogus tropical storm of the week. Uh, this thing sitting on the coast of Cuba. And the GFS is famous for putting out bogus tropical systems beyond five days. We know that. But it's almost that time of the year. And on the 25th, it's a high amplitude pattern across the nation. A uh, huge upper low out west, upper low off the New England coast, and ridging here with a northerly flow aloft. And that would suggest very quiet weather if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream at the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a 
company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.